what's going on everybody how's everybody doing out there well today i'm in titusville pennsylvania and this is home of the titusville and oil creek scenic railroad also home of the caboose motel Today I'm here for a special trip, but not aboard that. So let's take a look. So I'm here with Matt Kennard, and we're going on a speeder ride. How you been, Matt? Good. Nice Hi. to see everyone back on Pappy's channel since uh, we were at the Age of Steam Roundhouse. Yes, that was a great time. So as you guys remember, Matt was the tour guide at the Age of Steam Roundhouse in Sugar Creek, and he's going to go over his Fairmont speeder for us. This is a Fairmont M9 made in 1947. It originally served the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad out of their yard in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. The setup here is pretty much original as it was back in the day. Um, I have a copy of, I guess you could call it the original bill of sale. And uh, when this car was originally sold, it did not have seats on it. So it has some impromptu boat seats at the moment that are much more comfortable than riding in a tunnel here in the center. We can take a look at the controls quick on the top. The center lever here in red, that is your brake. Very simple. This level is, lever is your throttle, and this lever is your timer. This is a two-cycle car, so the engine runs clockwise or counterclockwise, since the belt goes directly from the crankshaft to the rear axle. There is no transmission, so if you want to run in reverse, you run the car in reverse. When it's straight up, that's where the spark and ignition is at top dead center. If you're going forward, this is advanced. On the contrary, if you're going in reverse, this advances the timing. So I'll be constantly playing with these controls as we're moving down the track. This lever here, if you lift up on it, that's the choke for the engine. If you rotate it, that is the needle valve on the carburetor. And we have the ignition and the lights. I don't know if I talked about this one. This one's a belt tensioner. So if you want to go, this is like your clutch. This tightens up the belt. The pulleys will grab and off you start going. It's a beauty. And we're going to take a spin. You're going to crank it up for us. Okay, well, give it a couple of priming strokes before I turn the ignition on to draw fuel into the engine. Usually two cranks and it starts. I'll do a quick walk by the cars that we got on the line today. And 
Unfortunately, I may need this. John wants to get wet, so. Oh, okay. You don't want to get wet. Is that what he said? No, John wants to get wet. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, yeah.
turn a car around. So these M9s are pretty light, under 500 pounds. Take a, uh, push up the um, rail sweep. I'm thinking of what they're called for a minute. Turn the brake off. Handles pull out the back. You made that look easy. Even on gravel, not too bad. <laughs> On the way back, we're starting to do a little bit of maintenance on the sides, cutting trees, getting debris out of the way, such as this. So they're manning the chainsaws, and I'm tossing the logs. And there's Matt with his big chainsaw. Let's clean some of this up. stopping at McDonald's and we're gonna get something to eat this nice wet rainy day but it was a blast I had a good time such fun such fun well Matt that was a great run we drowned rats we had a good time all right I want everybody to go over to Matt Kennard's channel I'll put a link in the description he'll show you when he first bought this what he's done to it 
You also got a, is it seven and a half inch? Yeah, I have some seven and a half inch gauge stuff. Run down at Milk Creek Central in Shockton, Ohio. It's beautiful stuff. Stop by and check him out. Go to the description, get his link, and get on over there. All right, Matt, it was great. I appreciate the invite. Until next time, like, share, subscribe. Don't cost nothing. Hit that button. Happy out.